Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. If you've been watching TV today, you know that thousands of children walked out of school across America demanding the passage of new gun control laws as follows the mass shooting in Parkland, Florida, of course. The walkout is being hailed by a ruling class as an act of moral bravery, but of course students do not act independently, brave as they may be. They can't act independently. They're under the control of adults. In this case, by definition, they're in school. So when you hear 16-year-olds scream, hey, NRA, how many people did you kill today? You can guess about whether they know what they're saying or whether they really believe it. Some of them do, but you can be certain adults are behind it, and they are. Today's events were organized by the Women's March with the support of dozens of other groups from Michael Bloomberg's gun lobby to Planned Parenthood. Celebrities, journalists, political elites across the country cheered them on. The TV channel Nickelodeon went dark for 17 minutes to show support for, quote, kids leading the way. In New York City, a student die-in was joined by the governor of the state, Andrew Cuomo. In Baltimore, that city spent more than a hundred grand in taxpayer money to transport students to anti-gun rallies. This in a city with one of the highest murder rates in the nation, a city that cannot afford trash cans or street lights. Meanwhile, in Alexandria, Virginia, 65 students walked out of an elementary school, as if kids under 10 can go anywhere by themselves. Now, whether you like the kids or like what they're saying, and you may, but you should be opposed to this because kids should not be used to advance political agendas, anyone's. Why? Because they're children. They're not old enough to have the perspective that adults do. That's why we don't let them vote or drink, or if today's protesters have their way, buy guns. And so it's wrong to exploit them, which by the way is exactly what is being done to them today, what the left is doing and has always done, from Mao's Red Guards to right now. The ANC in South Africa used kids as political props in the 80s. Their cause was obviously morally defensible. Causes usually are morally defensible. But in the process, an entire generation of kids learned to believe that activism is more important than learning. And a lot of them regret it now. They were exploited. And they're being exploited here. No matter what they chant, remember that the enemy of the adults behind this isn't the NRA. It's anyone who opposes their broader agenda. That's mostly people who have no power at all. So the message from our elites is really simple. Stand against us and you're against children. And therefore, you're a monster. And if you're a monster, you deserve to be destroyed. It's a kind of moral blackmail. Igor Volsky is director of Guns Down America. He joins us tonight. Igor, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So um, 